Reggie Ponder, the real critic. And this week's movie is Little. No! Ding dong! Ding dong! I really think I could help this company if you just gave me a chance. Just concentrate on being my assistant. Were you always mean? I got big and I got rich. So now who gonna check me, boo? I wish you were my age. Then I'd check you, boo. I wish you were little. I told you, watch it. Who's in it? Regina Hall, Issa Rae, and Marseille Martin. Now what's it about? Well, Regina Hall plays this kick-ass boss, but she's mean, she's nasty, and has no regard for anyone who works for her. So one day, she runs up against a little girl who turns her into her little self. So she has a second chance to be little, to figure out how to navigate stuff, and it's really a story about success, there's a, a lot of sisterhood in this one, and again, a second chance to grow up. So, what's to like in this film? Well, the first thing is Marseille Martin. She came up with this idea, and I love the fact that this little lady is learning at an early age that there are opportunities behind the camera, and that there's power behind the camera as well. Her idea makes her the youngest uh, executive director working in Hollywood today. I also like the, all the actors in this one, from Regina Hall to Issa Rae to Marseille Martin and the men of the film. You got Justin Hartley who plays the teacher, plays sexy teacher, you got Tone Bell, and then you got the little J.D. McCrary who uh, plays one of the kids that uh, Marseille ends up uh, meeting at her second chance in, in high school. I also love the fact that this is a female-led film. Again, it's Issa Rae, Marseille Martin, and Regina Hall. And then the premise of this is funny, is that uh, Marseille, she came up with this idea because her mother's favorite movie was big. I, I, I have to say, right here, Marseille is fabulous. She makes this movie, I really love it. And when she's not on the screen, I'm no disrespect to Regina, Regina Hall or Issa Rae, but when she's not on the screen, it's just not as funny and as vibrant. I really like her. So if you like her in a blackish, you'll like her on this one. And then overall, there's just great laughs all around. The chemistry is good in this one as well. And then there is a, a great message about uh, the price of success, about how you treat people, and this whole thing about uh, do not to others as, as they have done unto you. So what's not to like about this one? This movie could have had more depth. And what I mean by that is that uh, I, I wanted more heart. Yeah, they had uh, uh, these kind of awe uh, moments where, uh, uh, some touching moments, but I think that they were really drowned out by all the, the laugh and laughs and the funny business. I also think that um, the, the laughs might have um, minimized the message that this movie tried to get because there are some some good laughs. And then finally, the writing, I think, could have been tighter, uh, a, a little bit better because there are some things that you'll sit there, and I know a lot of movies do this, but there are some things in this movie where you'll sit there and you'll say to yourself, uh, I knew that this was coming or I knew that this was going to happen. Uh, but nonetheless, I think o overall, they did a good job with this. I, I like this movie. So what's my rating? Uh, I have to say before I give you that is that I was afraid that this was going to be another wild and crazy movie for the sake of being wild and crazy. I was looking at the trailer and it was saying, hey, this is one of those girl trip. Um, it's, it's done by the people who did Girls Trip, which was a wild and crazy movie with all this gratuitous crazy stuff like you would see maybe in The Hangover. And I thought that maybe they might take it too far. They did not. I think they pulled it back and they made it really appropriate for the audience uh, and appropriate for the, the overall message that it had here. I think there's an important lesson that's mixed in with a little warmth and a little heart, but overall, Lou had big laughs, a little star with big presence. I'm Reggie Ponder, the real critic, and I'll see you next week.